Okay, so welcome back to a interesting build, an interesting thing. Now, before we continue with the video where we give our thoughts on this, bear in mind this is a set that was made quite a while ago, actually five years ago at this point, and it's in the World War book. So we did not pay 300 bucks for this. We paid like, I think like It originally retailed 60. when it came out for $260. Yeah. Um, but uh, what, what I'm saying is is the, the design's a little outdated, and there are a lot of flaws. And when I mean a lot of flaws, I mean a lot of flaws. We'll get into that, but please note that this isn't, um, this is only out of the book. You can't buy this. this. Isn't, this isn't a new kit. All the new kits so far that I've seen has just been stellar. This one is old. It's five years old. So just bear that in mind when we talk about it. The book that we're referring to is published by Brick Mania. They have a whole series of books. Yes. This is one called The Great War. And there's also awesome. a Great War Volume 2. You need to get has... these books. We're going to do a tutorial on how to get these books and then how to search the parts, do all that. Tutorial coming soon. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to take a look at the Krupp. This is actually my finalizes everything out of this book. We've ordered everything, we've built everything. This is the last thing of this, and we'll have a video showcasing everything in the future. But before we get into this, I'm just one more time. This is an old set. Be warned. It's uh, it's old and it's it's bad, in my opinion. It looks cool. You have to finagle with it, but there's a lot of flaws. We'll get into that right now on Brick of It review. Okay, so looking at it in first glance, it looks pretty dope, I might say. But this took a while of finagling and building, and you know, is it all worth it? And is it worth, you know, considerably amounts of money? Like, we probably spent 80 bucks on the parts of this, maybe more for the flex tube and stuff. I mean, it is a considerable purchase. So, we're going to look at it in a little bit more detail. Here we go. Okay, so one thing to note out here is this little piece right here. It's poorly designed, in my opinion, and it usually just won't stay up, um, like well, Dave is demonstrating. We, we did a little fix. We put a little prong. That really helps? Yeah, that holds it in place. Oh, okay. Well, you put a little prong where there's not supposed to be. They didn't, we, they didn't uh, give you that. Okay, so we put that little prong there to stop it. That's a ingenious move by the Dave man. But um, you know, they also didn't um, include the right brick to do that, so we had to seal it off our Tie Fighter, which we'll put that back on after the review. But um, so there's a few things like that. He's referring to this, that light brick, yeah. The uh, this light brick here, which holds in the hook. Yes. That holds the shell carrier. Also, um, we messed up on these ladders here, but they actually do look pretty cool. And that fell off. See what I mean? It's it's pretty pretty fragile. But this whole cannon, how the cannon stays up, and then you have to finagle it in here. That gets a little bit cumbersome, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah. A lot of nice features on this gun. Uh, there's no features. What are the features? Well, you've got a functional shell waist, which will Ooh, swivel. Wow. And the shell will actually fit in there. It will? Let's test it out. Well, I can't really... Alright, I thought it would, but... No. The shell does not go in there. We got a hoist, and you know, the, this, I don't know how this is supposed to work right there, but it doesn't. I mean, it's very crappy, but other than that, oh, also we got this little ramrod right here, which you can actually fit in there a little bit, but uh, that's supposed to be there as well. But uh, this is supposed to do something, I, I just don't know what. Um, and then also this chain build, you kind of have to put it on a base plate to get it to work right, in my opinion. Um, overall the design, it's very gray, but I guess that's the real thing. I mean, it's accurate, so you know, that doesn't work at all. Well, I don't think we have it assembled quite right, but yeah. Okay, so looking back over the footage, I kind of noticed that we were a little bit rough on the Brickmania build, which I still think it's pretty bad, but I don't want this to come across as, you know, I'm... 
an ungrateful, spoiled little brat, because that's kind of what it, what it's portraying right now. So, uh, no, I am very thankful for all the LEGO I get, and for all the Brave Mania we get, and, uh, you know, this channel would not be possible without that. So I just wanted to let that sink in and clear that I'm not trying to bash this. I'm just bashing it for you guys, so you guys know that this isn't really one of my best sets that I have. That's all I'm saying. Um, anyway, back to the video. I disagree with your assessment of the gun. Um, yes, there are a few uh, finicky parts to the build, um, but overall I think it's a fascinating design and there's a lot of cool features here and I think uh, we've got some problems when we build it because these things should should move in the back here it should move and we may have to do a little bit more adjustment but just looking at it i think it's dope uh but that's just my opinion it's just a really interesting unique piece this was a uh siege gun which was in world, war one. world war one which was manufactured by which was manufactured by the german company krupp ag it was uh as you can see a massive howitzer and it was one of, actually one of the largest artillery pieces ever fielded it could be used to destroy forts and fortifications and really disrupt enemy lines the german soldiers when they first saw this gun they nicknamed them and i'm forgive my german pronunciation uh -oh. it looks like Stingy. dicky bertha in honor of bertha krupp who was head of the Krupp family that was manufacturing the guns. The nickname stuck and yeah, um, it was hauled by a tractor and the gun was so massive it had to be broken down into five different parts when it was being hauled. Uh, there were 12 of these bad boys built during the uh, before the war and then 10 during the war. Not that it, many. No, huh. it was 47 tons, 19.3 feet long it held uh, it hurled a 1807 pound shell and it could hurl it <clears throat> up to 7.8 miles yeah so the cool thing about big bertha is that it's become kind of common in usage even in modern days so we've got uh big bertha it, it uh, basically would apply to anything unusually large so you've got big bertha Heyman, who was the uh, criminal who uh, was also known as a confidence queen back in uh, New York. She was a, a swindler. You've got uh, Big Bertha the cow who holds two Guinness World uh, Records for being the oldest cow and also for having given birth to the most kids. Big Bertha the drum, one of the largest bass drums in the country. And then of course Big Bertha the Marvel Comics hero. So yeah, a lot of uh, big Berthas. Yeah, a lot of big Berthas about. Um, you don't have to keep spinning it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Very <laughs> he's cool. Just, he's just. Yeah. Well, I forgot that the camera wasn't anyway, exactly but, picking uh, that up. So I like it a lot. There are a few finicky things, but honestly, I think we might. It. Some of this might be our own fault. Although we assiduously follow the directions, but yeah, we'll uh, so. we'll have to finagle with it a little bit more. I I like the cannon. Don't get me wrong. I'm not ungrateful. I'm not mad at Brick Mania. I'm not a Brick Mania hater. I love Brick Mania. All I'm saying is this is an outdated design. They need to come out with a more modern design because there is some there's new Lego parts that can make this better. I'm not saying that it's a bad design. I'm just saying it's a little dated, and uh, you know it could use a revamping. All right. So with this, we have built everything in the Great War Book. So look Expect for showcase videos coming soon yeah. and a tutorial on how to do this. Yeah, yeah. Some some folks have asked for that, and we aim to please. And speaking of pleasing, please yourself by going to our sponsor, Cosby's Bricks. Bricks Brickling Store. If you use code word Brickafit, you're gonna get ten percent off. Now that's code word B R. I C K A F I C. Mm -hmm. Brick of it. And if you use that, you get 10% off. I mean, it's just. Why wouldn't you? I yeah. mean, honestly, why wouldn't you? Yeah, so if we had one of these big Berthas out here yes. in the yard, if we got mad at somebody, 
if they were <clears throat> not further than about eight miles away. Well, there's only about two people <laughs> than eight miles away. Hashtag rural living. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on all notifications. And if there's a big Bertha in your life, give him or her special thanks and homage. Because today's Big Bertha Day. Yeah. All right. No, it's not. It's not Big Bertha Day. So I guess we'll see you on the next one? Yes. All right. We'll be there. And hopefully you will be too. You Bye. better be. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't have to be. All right.